Good morning. As you can see, it's bright and early, absolutely pitch black. We're at the Tulpanup Trailhead. So it's about 4.30 in the morning. We're aiming to be up the top for sunrise. I'm uh, not really sure how long it takes. So we've given ourselves an hour and a half to get up there. So that should be good. The stars are shining. It's a new moon, so the stars are really bright tonight. And hopefully there's no clouds at the moment. So hopefully it stays that way and we get a beautiful sunrise. As you can see, the sunrise is beating us very quickly. It's a lot harder than I imagined. Nearly there. Oh, just call this one an incline mountain because that's all it is. This is worth it for views like that. It's too good to get up top. sunrise a little later than we expected but still beautiful nonetheless we've hiked up with the sleeping bag so it's time to get cozy make a coffee and find a spot out of this wind now i gotta figure out if i can fly a veggie mile on my drone Started our descent. It's a nice steep walk down. Very taxing on the knees. We've only started walking for the first couple of minutes and it's already knee breakers, so get this part done and then it should get a bit easier I think, but take it nice and slow.
so coming up we could hear the sound of running water obviously couldn't see it in the dark take this little pathway and after that it'd be awesome to dip your feet in when it's a hotter day I suspect in the winter time that would be flowing even better so if you're brave enough to do it in the winter time climbing those rocks in the wet be worth it for the creek She is a picture of beauty. I don't know what the most exciting part of a hike is, getting to the top or getting back to your car. They're both pretty um, exciting. So that's the end of uh, Tilburn Up hike. Overall, I think it was 3.9 kilometers and almost 600 meters elevation gain. There's lots of parts where you're just scrambling up rocks, so I definitely wouldn't recommend it to a beginner. Uh, it definitely was not easy. I 100% believe it was harder than Bluff Knoll. It was definitely worth it for the views though. It was absolutely spectacular up there, especially with the morning sun. Spent a bit more time coming down because obviously wanted to get more footage on the way down while we could actually see. And it was really nice. You heard uh, flowing water and stuff, uh, the birds chirping. I think we only seen six people overall on the entire trail so definitely less popular than bluff knoll so definitely recommend this hike if you're up for it now we're going to head off and go make some breakfast amy's been talking about it for the last hour so get back to our campsite have that have a shower take a good well-deserved nap